Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday morning, the 11th of January. I'm James Spann. Temperatures near record levels today and over the weekend, but don't get used to it because we turn cold next week and uh, we're looking for sun. When will it come back? Let's talk about it. We'll start with some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m. That's our Jasper Skycam. Cloudy, kind of drizzly, warm. Here's a look at downtown Clanton. And the Eastern Bypass in Montgomery, Monkey Town, the Gump, where it's cloudy and kind of damp there as well. Well, there's the setup, the upper low that was over uh, New Mexico and Texas that's lifting out toward the Great Lakes. And as that uh, dampens and lifts out, it kind of leaves us in a very soupy, warm, moist air mass. And off to the west, a big cold trough setting up where very unsettled, cold, snowy weather is ahead for the Iraqis out there. Let's peek at the radar. This is at 5.03, and you can see a little light rain over central Alabama, and it's just going to be that way for a few days. Clouds, some light rain at times. Nothing really too heavy through Sunday. Hey, those temperatures at 5 o'clock are 10 degrees, 5 a.m. this morning, 10 degrees warmer than the average high for the 11th of January. So you know it's going to be a warm day when you see numbers like that at 5 o'clock in the morning. But out west, it's very cold. And you can see that big thermal contrast setting up around the nation. And that front will be the focus of some uh, weather action. Thank goodness, not severe weather action, but a lot of rain in coming days. This is our watch warning map. And man, that thing is lit up like a Christmas tree out west and up north with winter storm watches and warnings. I see some blizzard warnings up for parts of uh, North Dakota and Minnesota. An ice storm warning for parts of Minnesota. And then a lot of fog down below that through Iowa and some of the adjacent states. Here's the rain. This is for the next five days. This is through Wednesday morning of next week. The bullseye around Memphis with 4.4 inches. And that's suggesting a good two inches here. And, uh, you know, the question is, can we have enough rain for flooding with the stall front? And that remains to be seen. The latest data is suggesting no, but no doubt it's going to be very wet here through early next week. I um, thought I'd show you quickly the... Uh, precipitation chart this is coming off the various models this is off the uh, buff kit and uh, this carries us through next week and you can see now most of the models are running anywhere from one to two inches with rainfall amounts here uh, through the weekend the amounts are under one inch and then they ramp up early next week but we've seen numbers a lot higher than that while we're looking at the uh, temperature plots, let's look at the uh, or the buff kit plots. Let's look at the temperatures. And yeah, after uh, Sunday, things kind of go downhill. In fact, you can see the uh, some models are suggesting we will not get out of the 40s Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. That'll be a big contrast. That's like a 30 degree drop in these daytime highs. So I'm just telling you, don't get used to the uh, warmth around here. All right, this is the GFS, Global Forecast System, valid at uh, noon today. This is the 06Z run, and this is at 500 millibars. Cold trough in the west, warm ridge over the Gulf Coast. And down below that, cloudy and showery today. High should be in the low 70s. The NAM is at 70, the GFS at 72. Weather just doesn't change a lot tomorrow. Uh, moist, a chance of light rain at times. Uh, and if we're going to break a record, I think tomorrow's the day. We, we'd have to get up to uh, 75 tomorrow. And uh, let's see here. That record was set in 1916. And no, I wasn't doing the weather on television back then. But the uh, GFS is at 76. The NAMS at 75. It'll be a close call. But cloudy, warm, wet, a little light rain. There's a look at the temperatures coming off the... Uh, Four kilometer NAM. This is valid at uh, three o'clock Saturday afternoon. You can see those mid 70s printing out there. All right, Sunday, this heavier rain band sets up along the boundary, the front, uh, and that's uh, really near or maybe just east of Memphis, between Memphis and Nashville. And that's when the rain could get heavy. Behind that is sharply cold. It'll be a huge thermal contrast on Sunday, but here we stay in the warm air. 
And again, this is suggesting just some rain at times, mostly light rain at times on Sunday. And again, low to mid-70s are likely. Now, Monday, this is when we start to turn sharply colder. There's going to be a huge thermal contrast. I could see Monday where Haleyville and Hamilton, they'll be in the 40s all day, but Alexander City and Auburn, they could be in the 70s. And it's going to be raining on us. So Monday's temperatures will greatly depend on where you live. And now the GFS wants to push the boundary south on Tuesday. You know, for a while it had us in that boundary for days. Well, now this is suggesting Tuesday would be uh, at least from Birmingham north dry, from Birmingham south it could be wet. And again, I don't think we get out of the 40s on Tuesday. That'll be a very uh, raw type day. And Wednesday, we're, we're bone dry. Uh, we'll start the day around freezing. The high would be in the low to mid 50s. Temperatures near average, if this is right. Uh, Thursday of next week, we're dry. And Friday, a week from today, we're dry. So the GFS is clearly drier for the latter half of next week. But let's look at the European, which is kind of singing a different song. This is Tuesday of next week. Uh, we're wet. And again, you can see the thickness values are way down. I think we'll be in the 40s all day. Now, Wednesday, the European dries us out. But on Thursday, look what it does. It develops a wave on that front to the south, a surface low at Mobile, and we go wet again. Uh, this is Thursday night, Thursday evening, and that's a soaking rain. So you got the European with a soaking rain. you got the GFS that's dry and sunny. That makes for a low confidence forecast. But as you typically know, we tend to trend toward the European in this uh, time range. And then Friday, it's out of here. And it's uh, uh, pretty chilly. The 540 line almost down to uh, Huntsville. Thought I'd show you the... Anyway, that, that's the situation through uh, next Friday. Now, let's look at the situation on the 21st of January. Back to the GFS. Look at the trough in the east. And look at the cold air coming in here. That is a cold look. Uh, in fact, that's a look at the anomalies, and that would suggest temperatures, what, 15 to 20 degrees below average. So, and you compare that to Saturday. This, all right, this is tomorrow's anomaly where, you know, we're, what, 25 degrees above, and this is the 21st of January. We're 15 to 20 degrees below. That's what we're saying. Don't get used to the warm weather. Into the forecast, the 26th, the flow goes zonal, and uh, that's suggesting a pretty good snowstorm up north, but things would be relatively quiet here if indeed. That happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget to watch us on TV this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.